Today's intramural episode begins in the palatial but sumptuous home of the eminent physician, Dr. Frank N. Schwein, as he bids good night to his lovely wife. Good night, my lovely wife. I must work on my new experiment down in the laboratory this evening. Again? What the dickens are you doing down there anyway, Frank? You could be spending a quiet evening with me, watching TV and eating peanut brittle. Oh, that does sound wonderful, my dear, but I simply must get on with my work. Well, you're the doctor. Get it, honey? I said, oh. And quickly, the mysterious Dr. Schwein proceeded to his sinister underground laboratory. Uh, quickly, Doctor, it's nearly ready. Oh, look at him, Sidney. Isn't he beautiful? Uh, no, that's my dirty shirt. Uh, so your monster's over there on the pool table. Oh, yes. Well, let's see if we've infused him with enough power to conquer the world. Turn off the switch. <laughs> Pull back the sheet, Sidney. Uh, uh, get up, monster. Uh, get up. We want you to destroy all kinds of everything. Look, Sidney. He's sitting up. Uh, no use, Doc. This here, this here monster's weaker than a newborn aardvark. You're right, Sidney. I've failed. We must get our hands on Roger Ramjet's proton energy pills. They'll give our monster the strength of 20 atom bombs for 20 seconds. And so, unaware of the dangers which await him, Roger Ramjet accepts a mysterious invitation to visit Dr. Frank N. Schwein. Hmm, this is mysterious. I wonder why the doctor sent for me. I told him I rarely make house calls. Oh, well. Come in, won't you? Well, you're the doctor. <laughs> ah, he's the doctor. Get it, honey? <laughs> Excuse me a moment. <laughs> there, that's better, isn't it? You're Roger Ramjet, aren't you? Yes, doctor. What seems to be the problem? Well, I have a week back. Oh, when did you get that? Oh, about a week back. Hmm, I suggest you take two aspirins and call me in the morning. Splendid idea. But before you go, I'd like you to see my lab. Where am I? Uh, are you hurt? Oh, of course not. How could anyone possibly get hurt falling three stories down an elevator shaft and landing on his head on a concrete slab? Ramjet, you probably want to know why I asked you to drop in. I was wondering about that on the way down, yes. Take a look at my monster. Why, it looks exactly like a pile of dirty clothes. But, uh, you get away from my church. Your monster's over there in the pool table, you... Oh, yes, there he is. Now, Ramjet, I'm going to give the monster one of your proton energy pills, which I took from you while you were unconscious. It will make him strong enough to destroy the world. You're making a terrible mistake, Doctor. Oh, fiddle-dee-dee. Here, Seymour, this will make you strong. Now, Seymour, destroy! I tried to warn you, Doctor, my proton energy pills can never be used for any evil purpose. And now that my work is done here, I'll leave you in Seymour's monstrous hands. Uh, hey, Ramjet, will you do me a favor? Uh, drop my shirts off at the laundry <laughs> and no starch. And so ends another monstrous adventure of that fighter for truth and freedom, Roger Ramjet. Mm. And his good friend Seymour, the friendly monster. When Ramjet takes a proton pill, the crooks begin to worry. They can't escape their awful fate from proton's mighty fury. Roger Ramjet, he's our man, hero of our nation. For his adventures, just be sure and stay tuned to the station. So come and join us, all you kids, for lots of fun and laughter. As Roger Ramjet and his men get all the crooks there. Roger and he's our man, hero of our nation. For 